Every digital image has a dimension, both in number of pixels and in number of pixels per inch. And the best way to see that in Photoshop is to go into the image menu and choose image size. This will bring up a dialog box that will tell you the dimensions in pixels. This one's almost 2600 pixels by almost 3900 pixels and also the resolution 300 dots per inch. Now at this size this image would print at about eight and a half by 13 inches and do a really nice job on most printers. However, I want to use this image for a website and at 28 megabytes, this is much too big. So what we want to do is we want to resample it, which would be uh, to change the actual number of pixels in an image. If I just resize it, I will not change the number of pixels, but I will change the size. So resampling gives us a few options here. Um, I'm going to do by cubic sharper for reducing an image in size. And here I have a, a lock, and if that lock is clicked on, you'll see these lines. That means that if I change this to a four by whatever, as soon as I press in four, it will change the height automatically. So this will become a four by six image, and I want it to be 72 dots per inch. So you'll notice that the dimensions will change from almost thousands of pixels to only hundreds of pixels, uh, 288 pixels by 432. That's a huge difference. I will click OK, and that has been resized. I'll press Command-1 or Control-1, and that's its actual size now on, a, on this particular screen. If I do Command-0 or Control-0, you can see that the image is a little bit more pixelated than it used to be because we compressed everything down. Now to save this for the web, I would go into the File menu and I would hit Export, Save for Web, Legacy, and here I can choose the quality, whether I want high, very high, so forth. I usually choose 30, and then I will click on Save, and then save that to my desktop. So that image now has gone from 28 megabytes down to only 33 kilobytes, which is much more friendly for the internet and will load quickly.